I've come across this website that is a really good tool to allow D reps or delegate representatives to talk to their community. So if you are delegating to a particular D rep and you're kind of wondering how they are voting in the Cardano ecosystem in this whole governance era and you want to engage with them, this platform is really good. It allows the D reps to put up polls, communicate how they're voting, engage with any of their delegates through the platform itself. Let me show you exactly how it all works. So this is the platform here at tempo.vote, all the links down below for you guys. But have a look at this. This is what they've been doing. They've put together this platform so that you out there, ADA holders, can find DREPs that align with your vision of how the Kadana ecosystem should be run. They've also got lots of really cool data about how governance is going at the moment. And I can see more and more of this uh, stuff coming out and it really helps with uh, visualizing and understanding where governance is at within the Kadana ecosystem. So with the next hard fork coming up, there will be treasury withdrawals. There will be a vote on the Cardano constitution and there will be votes on the Cardano budget for 2025. That's all coming up really soon. So it's really important for any ADA holder out there to start looking for DREPs or become a DREP themselves. Now, these are some really cool stats and uh, visualizations of how DREPs are organized around the world at the moment. You can see the split here is quite interesting with a lot of uh, uh, Asian holders at the moment uh, dominating the space. And this probably is mainly because there's a lot of uh, Japanese ADA holders out there and they hold a lot of the uh, circulating supply at the moment. So this could be uh, the reason why we're seeing such a large uh, part of the pie here being held by um, Asia. Now, we do need to activate the Kadano ecosystem and get more users out there, delegate DREPs, and hopefully we do see that over the next couple of weeks. This is the platform here itself. This is my own uh, DREP ID that um, I set up a little bit earlier. I haven't put in any profiles or uh, too much information yet, uh, but you can see how much active voting power I have, my live voting power, how many people have actually delegated to my, uh, my DREP profile at the moment, and my influence and power, how, how I've voted so far and what I've not voted for, and then uh, various governance actions and how I've actually voted on chain. So you can have a look and see exactly uh, how I align myself and potentially delegate to this uh, particular DREP delegate to myself. You can do it all through the platform here as well. So it makes it quite a kind of nice way to go about finding it and then delegating to a DREP. There's various different polls that uh, they've put up on the platform as well, just to check to see how the community sentiment is going on various topics that are being discussed at the moment. You can also see governance actions are currently live at the moment. This is an info action to rename the next hard fork, but you can see the direction where the DREPs and where the SPOs and the CC, the Constitutional Committee, and see which and how they align at the moment. So it's a nice way to visualize the uh, voting progress so far on the various governance actions out there. They've also put together other bits of information or the current uh, committee members and lots of meeting notes and uh, video AMAs from Intersect and everyone else that's been working in the governance space at the moment. And I find this really useful because some of this information is a little bit disjointed. You don't know where to find some of this information. So having it all in one location is really appealing. We also have a visualization of the Cardano treasury and its usage. So if we have a look at how much ADA is being produced every epoch, and we can see how much ADA is withdrawn every year, how long will this treasury last us? So if we're very conservative, we can grow this treasury, or if we want to accelerate its spending, we can uh, burn out the treasury a lot sooner. And hopefully there is that kind of impact that we can see uh, the uh, amount of transactions going through the Canada ecosystem uh, actually increase as well. So we don't have this big drawdown of the treasury overall. This here is a visualization of the DREP breakdown as well. So you can have a look at this. I'll put the links down below for you guys so you can see how the uh, demographics are for this particular split of DREPs. And you can see here the, uh, the top DREPs with most delegates. You can see the ones with the uh, highest number of whale delegators and also the top DREPs via uh, largest voting power change. So lots of uh, ways to dissect and see who are the DREPs within the Kadana ecosystem. You can also, of course, put in a DREP ID or search for a particular name, such as myself, and that will come up with the, the various DREP IDs. So you can actually delegate to them at this point as well. Here on my profile, you can click on the ellipses here 
copy the DRAP ID as a SIP29, and then jump over to your Cardano wallet. And then from there, you can start delegating. I have lots of tutorials around governance on the Cardano ecosystem. So if you're interested in delegating to a particular DRAP or becoming a DRAP yourself, I have multiple different ones here from Lace, Eternal, and also Typhon, where it will take you through the process of registering as a DRAP or delegating to a DRAP out there. So all the notes, all the links down below for you guys, if you're interested in that. And that's all I have for you guys in this particular update. Tempo Vote are doing an amazing job of making the voting process and finding DREPs just that much easier. I'm pretty excited about the future of Cardano and this whole governance era. 2025 is certainly going to be a big year for the Cardano ecosystem. If you got something out of this video, hit that thumbs up on the way out, hit the subscribe notification bell. Make sure you tune in on my other channel as well, where I have all those crypto tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next video.